In this video, we're going to take a look at how to make an arched doorway in concrete and brick construction. So you start by measuring the raw opening of your doorway. In this situation, we're dealing with a meter wide opening. That means that the form for the arch needs to be a semicircle that's a meter in diameter and consequently a half a meter high. We've got some boards that are a fourth of a meter in width, and so two of those tacked together are going to make the perfect height for the arch frame. So once he has those boards tacked together, he measures off half the width of the arc, which is a half a meter, and puts a nail in there for a guide that he'll use to draw his half circle. So for that purpose, he's got a piece of wire with an S twist on the ends that he can use as a pencil guide to mark off the, where the cut will be. Oops, those things need to be plugged in to work, I guess. Then he'll just toenail those uh, loose edges into place so the boards are firmly connected. and then repeat that process of drawing the semicircle and cutting it out for the second piece. And it's important to pull out that guide nail that was used to draw the semicircles because that'll be in the way. Meanwhile, Clemente is measuring and cutting strips of wood that are the exact width of the doorway wall. And Ugo uses three of those, one on each end and one in the center, to define the width of the form. And he then fills in between those until there's a solid face on the edge it's made up of those wood strips to cover the entire semicircle. And as he works his way around the face of the form, he consistently checks the width to make sure there isn't any shifting or drift. And when it's necessary, he puts in a brace to make sure that width remains consistent. And because this is rough wood with a lot of surface variation, it's important to grind off all the edges so there isn't a problem later with the cement binding it. They need to make, I think, seven of these for the first floor of the house of um, two different sizes. So now let's take a look at how these get installed. So they prepared the doorways with these upright 4x4s with short 4x4 cross pieces on top to create a platform where these arch forms can rest. And then they do the details of making sure it's level in all directions and plumb with the wall. And then the entire surface of the forms are coated with used motor oil which is an essential part of the process or it probably wouldn't be removable once the concrete was poured. And here Fair is working on the rebar structure. Normally in the doorway there'd be two uprights 
and a cross piece over the top, which it still has. But in addition to that, there's a 45 degree angle rebar structure that meets at the top of the arch, forming two triangles set on edge. And there's Palomo inspecting the quality of the work and checking out the final step before the concrete is poured, which is to cover that entire operation with wood forms. So once that concrete's poured in it, after it sits for a couple of weeks, we pull off the forms and see what we've got. Ha, ha, ha. 